What is going on, y'all? Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com, and this is going to be a podcast all about business, specifically the Keto Brick business. So we're undergoing some changes at Keto Brick. I'm excited about it. I'm, I don't like to use the word scared. I don't like to use the word nervous or anxious, but I'm just going to call it as it is. I don't know. There's a lot of uncertainty with how y'all receive these changes, so I'm hopeful that y'all receive them well. But we've got three big things that I want to talk about as it pertains to changes with the Keto Brick business, and that's what we're going to be diving into on this episode. So not talking to a guest here. I'm just simply rambling as to what we're changing here. Hopefully you find value in it. Hopefully you understand what's going on and hopefully this provides more clarity. So without further ado, sit back, relax, enjoy the podcast about some keto brick updates. What is going on, y'all? Robert Sykes, Keto Savage, KetoBrick.com. I've got a big update. We're going to be diving into some business stuff here, some entrepreneurial stuff, some headaches, some uh, some changes. All right, so there's three main things that I want to cover. First, let's talk about packaging updates and formula tweaks. So you may have noticed if you purchased a milk and cookies brick that it shows to be 140 grams rather than the usual 150 grams. Don't worry, this is not us shorting you at all on the bricks. We would not do that. This is basically a update to packaging. We've recently switched to a new software and it's allowing us to get things more accurate and dialed in as it pertains to the packaging. So little backstory here, when we first launched the business in 2018, the first and original flavor was the Mocha Cream. That weighed in at about 150 grams. And the software that I was using at the time, basically I would duplicate that recipe, that formula, and I'd make the adjustments from the ingredient standpoint to get as close to the 1,000 calories as possible to get everything dialed in for the next flavor. However, that software wasn't all that great because it would round things, and it just wasn't as dialed in as I would like it to be. When it comes to packaging, this is probably like the biggest headache when it when it comes to packaging at all. Like this this packaging in and of itself is my biggest frustration in owning a food product business. There's just so much nuance with it all. It's impossible to guarantee everything is 100% accurate because there's just so much room for error. The FDA, for instance, allows a 20% amnesty one way or the other, high or low on the macros and the calories, which honestly just isn't good enough for me. I'm a perfectionist. I want to get things as dialed in as possible. As possible, I made the keto brick to be something that I used for my performance competition prep, so I want to lean on the accuracy. Another example of these inaccuracies is that the 449 method. So basically what that states is that calories uh, for a gram of fat are nine, calories for a gram of protein are four, calories from a gram of carbohydrate are four. That is how we all use that formula. That's how everything you're familiar with from a packaging standpoint works, but that is oftentimes not the actual case. The only way to know with 100% certainty what the caloric load of anything is, is to put that into a bomb calorimeter and test it. Nobody's doing that. Um, so for instance, a lot of the fat grams are actually 8.36 calories per gram or 9.25 a lot of the protein is actually supposed to be 3.87 or 4.23 so it all just estimates and rounds combine that with the fact that the ingredient suppliers our ingredient suppliers everybody's ingredient suppliers oftentimes round their nutritional statements as well so the supplies that i'm getting in are a little bit skewed which is obviously going to skew my numbers a little bit uh, so that's an inaccuracy. The software that they use, the software that I've used, software that anybody uses to generate nutrition statements is going to be rounding a little bit. So there's another opportunity for inaccuracy there. Plus, when you factor in just how the bricks are made or how anything's made in a consumer packaged good product, there's going to be room for error. For instance, we use a pneumatic machine. It's called a depositing elf. And that's how we deposit the brick material into the molds to make the bricks. We have a gram weight that we're trying to strive for with each individual flavor. Up to this point, it's always been 150 grams. And we, de we set that elf to deposit at that weight. However, it's a pneumatic machine. Any fluctuations in air pressure can cause changes there. It may be a little bit light. It may be a little bit heavy. We strive to get as close as possible. I've always defaulted towards the spectrum of giving y'all more than less. So like, for instance, when we're banging out the bricks on the table and getting ready to package them, if it's less than about five grams of what it's supposed to be, I just don't sell it. If it's more than five grams of what it's supposed to be, 
I sell it because at the end of the day, y'all are getting more than what you paid for. So I always strive to give y'all more than less. However, there is just another point of inaccuracy when it comes to variations in what that elf is depositing. We spot check bricks as we're pouring these out, as we're banging them out, so that if there's anything that feels light, looks light, we just don't sell it. A couple of them might slip through the cracks, but we do everything humanly possible to ensure that that does not happen. Now, all that to say, I've spent the money to get more dialed in. Like I said earlier, the FDA allows for a 20% amnesty one way or the other. We've always been within 5%, at least I think we've always been within 5%, I'm trying to strive to get within 1%. So I want to get as close as humanly possible to as accurate as humanly possible with everything that we produce, which is why you will start seeing some slight minuscule changes in the brick packaging. The weight may be 140, 140 grams or 147 grams or 152 grams or 145 grams or something like that as opposed to just the generic 150 across the board. Again, this is not us giving you less than what would make up those proposed macros. It's just us getting more accurate with what those ingredients actually yield towards that nutritional statement. So I'm super excited about being able to provide more accuracy there. We have a great film supplier that does digital print as opposed to using printing plates. So we make these changes and then relatively soon we're able to get the updated film. So you'll start seeing those changes roll out. Nothing's drastic, but everything's just more accurate. So like Everything pretty much across all flavors is plus or minus one gram or so of, you know, the macronutrient distribution. So like if it was 89 grams of fat, it may be 90 grams of fat. If it was 12 grams of carbs, it may be 11 grams or maybe 13 grams of carbs. If it was 33 grams of protein, it may be 34 grams of protein. So this is just us trying to get things more accurate, more dialed in as it pertains to the nutrition statements and what the bricks are comprised of. All right, topic number two, changes in price structure discount volume for the bricks. So currently, you can get a single brick for $12, a week supply of seven bricks for $59, which yields a 30% discount, a two-week supply of 14 bricks for $105, which winds up equating to a 38% discount, a one-month supply of 30 bricks for $199, which equates to a 45% discount. Now, Due to our costs increasing, primarily from the ingredient suppliers and from shipping costs, we're going to have to reduce the amount of these discounts. Now, I know that may send your feathers ruffling and all that good stuff, but hear me out here. I'm trying to do this in a way that adds more value than we take. So one of the most consistent requests that we've gotten for the business from the beginning is to have the ability to pick and choose your own flavors and basically build your own box. We didn't do that. We went with the whole one week, two week, one month supply in a variety pack, but I totally understand and get why people would want to build their own box. I found a software that allows me to do just that. So we're going to change the discount structure so that the price of a single brick is going to stay the same at 12 bucks. And then the price break will occur from six to 11 bricks in which you'll be able to get that at a 20% discount. The next price break will be 12 to 23 bricks, and that'll be a 25% discount. Then 24 bricks and up will be offered at a 30% discount. All of those discounts, all of those volume tier price breaks will occur across the board from all flavors. So rather than having a one-week supply, a two-week supply, a one-month supply, it's just going to be a single variant of a single brick across all flavors, and then you can pick and choose what quantity of each of those flavors you want to build your own box and then take advantage of those price volume discounts. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to roll this out on the website so you'll see what I'm talking about there. I know the idea of a reduction in the discount is never a exciting thing, but it just is what it is right now, y'all. I mean, I know the price can be a challenging topic, especially in the current environment with the economy and all that stuff. I have no intentions of ever charging more than necessary for the bricks. Truth be told, I've crunched numbers and I've crunched numbers. I'm literally dreaming about spreadsheets right now because I built out so many spreadsheets. It's not something I'm proud of, but I'm a spreadsheet maniac. And for what it's worth, I've done the math on everything I could possibly do as it pertains to our brand, and this is just is what it is. I did also do the math on a, another bar product to kind of give you all some context here. Quest Bars, for instance, let's talk about them because everybody's familiar with Quest Bars. So Quest Bars, they sell, if you go to Quest Nutrition or whatever their website is, quest.com, you, you get 12 Quest Bars. They're going to charge $33.48 for those 12 bars. That breaks down to about $2.79 per bar. 
Each bar is 190 calories, which equates to a cost per calorie of 0 0.015. If you buy the most expensive option of keto brick, a single brick for $12, the cost per calorie is 0 0.012, cheaper than that of a Quest bar. There's a massive difference though. We do not charge shipping and Quest does. For that exact box of 12 Quest bars, they were going to charge me $12.20 for shipping. Now, that changes their total to $45.68 or $3.81 per bar, a cost per calorie of 0 0.02 compared to our cost per calorie of 0 0.012. And I don't want to bash Quest Bar, but I don't think anybody that's listening to this would disagree that the quality of the nutrition in our bricks surpasses that of the Quest Bar. So you're paying a lot less cost per calorie from the bricks, even if you buy the most expensive $12 single brick option than you would at any other bar, and it's just a much, much higher quality option. So when I did the math on that and broke it down, I just kind of put my mind at peace a little bit. Shipping is crazy expensive, and I'm doing everything I can to not charge y'all shipping. I'm hopeful that by doing this build your own box price volume discount tiered system, I can avoid charging y'all shipping for longer. And that, that's not to say that I won't eventually have to charge shipping. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I'm doing everything I can to fight to that because I certainly don't want to charge y'all shipping. Y'all certainly don't want to pay for shipping. So hopefully this alleviates some of the pressure from a financial standpoint there. Shipping, like I said, is just crazy expensive, y'all. And we don't charge shipping. The summer months, we have like summer shipping, which we have from May until the end of August. During that time, we throw in a cold pack or two or three or four, depending on how many bricks you get. And we don't pass that cost on to y'all. So we're going to continue to eat shipping for as long as we can. And like I said, hopefully by having the options here and changing the discount structure and the, the price volume discount tiered system, we can not charge shipping for that much longer. Now, point number three is that we have a mystery variety box kind of thing that I'm playing around with. This one isn't completely ironed out yet, but I'm working on it and open to suggestions. Since we're moving away from the one week, two week, one month variety pack option, we're pretty much building a variety pack into the build your own box by default. I was thinking of offering a subscription model in which you could subscribe and save, like you see a lot of other websites doing, but then have that at a 35% discount for a total of 30 bricks. This will again be a variety pack, so it's gonna be a mix of the flavors including some of the limited edition flavors. So just to kind of give you an idea of how that works, whenever we launch a limited edition flavor like the Butter Maple Pecan, the Nootropic, uh, the Macadamia Madness, we, we make all the bricks, we put them on the website, we send out the launch email, they sell out, et cetera, et cetera. We always set aside a box of those bricks, like 200 to 300 bricks typically, for if we have any shipping issues, if things don't make it to you in transit, if it's damaged, so we can kind of pull from that buffer box, so to speak, and get you fixed up. As a result of that, we have a few buffer boxes of mint chocolate and some other flavors. Rather than just sitting on those until we launch them again, if we launch them again, we can work those into these variety mystery boxes. So you may subscribe and save and get you know better discounts and get the variety box, it may just be the full-time natural flavors, uh, you know, even distribution of those. It may be the normal natural flavors, but then also a handful of mint chocolate or something else. I can't guarantee what they're going to be. That's why it's called a mystery box. But I thought this would be a fun way to simply, you know, tease out some of those buffer box bricks, get those to y'all throughout the year outside of the normal launch time, and then just honestly make it a mystery. Like, you like the bricks, you like all flavors, get this, and then see what you get. So you might be surprised to get a handful of mint chocolate when you normally wouldn't be able to. So that's kind of what I'm thinking with the mint, or with the variety pack mystery box. Like I said, I'm still ironing that out, but I'll get all those details updated and to you soon. All of these changes will go into effect in the coming weeks. The price tier discount system that's going to replace the one week, two week, one month option that is going to go into effect on February 1st, okay? So I'm going to wake up February 1st. I'm going to update this all on the website manually. That's going to be rolling out then. So it's going to be less of a discount than what you are currently getting, but you're going to be able to pick and choose your own flavors. The relative cost per brick is going to change, but I'm hopeful that everyone's receptive to that by the increased in flexibility with what you can pick and choose. Not going to lie, y'all, this has been a stressful several weeks. I've, like I said, been building out spreadsheets, losing sleep. I've driven Crystal crazy with me asking her numbers. I've talked to my crew about this. I've crunched numbers, and I'm just going, going insane right now. 
And I think back to this time last year when we had to roll out these price changes and everybody was super receptive to them. We literally never got one piece of negative feedback. Everybody was totally on board, understanding, and I'm hopeful that that same thing takes place now. I have committed and will continue to commit to always doing right by y'all, being as transparent as possible. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to lose and I have nothing to hang my head about. I have always done the best that I can with this business. I will always do the best I can by you. And the reality of the situation is that we have to change the way that we're doing our price breakdown and structure if we are to stay in business. That said, I am committing and will continue to commit to always improving upon what we have in place. Better ingredients, better flavors, better everything. And I'm hopeful that y'all you know, recognize that and believe that to be true based off of what we've been doing for the past five years in business. I am leaning on the Faith Over Fear Manifesto from 2022 throughout this time, though, because as a business, it is always scary when prices change. It's always scary when you mix things up. I mean, y'all are so used to the one week, two week, one month supply at the current price. Like, who's to say how y'all are going to respond to this? I'm hopeful that you're understanding and respond well. And if you have any questions, by all means, let me know. I have nothing to, to hide, and I just want to be transparent and honest with y'all. So, that said, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I hope this video makes sense. A little long-winded, but hopefully that adds some more clarity as to around the changes that are going to be taking place with Keto Brick. Thank y'all so very much. Talk to you next time.